uh, ladies, um, it's our September newsletter. Oh my goodness, we're into September already. God, where has this year gone? I think the weather was so brilliant earlier on and really the July run through and then we were waiting in August to get the good weather and here it's back. So it's it's here. So <clears throat> we had a lot of things went on, uh, you know, since I spoke to you last. Um, we had our lovely granddaughter christened, Sophie was christened on the, oh I can't remember the date, anyway we had Sophie's lovely christening and we had in Grants in Oma here and we had a beautiful day, a lovely day, we had a room to ourselves and it was absolutely fantastic. Now it was just a small family crowd and uh, we really really enjoyed it. Now the usual story, this is how my life has gone so fast and I have just reached the age I've reached without even knowing. Our buying trips, we went from we go from one buying to the other and our buying trips, people do not understand this, we are buying for spring summer 22 and you know people go what you're buying for spring summer 22 like are you all right but that is what we have to do and we're going ahead now we're doing a lot of new things a lot of new brands and a lot of different things and with the younger uh, generation coming along and I'm taking a seat back I'm finding that uh, Alice and I are just getting into gear with things that sort of we meet halfway with it and we do have the odd arguments but uh, she always says I won. I don't know if I do or not. But anyway, um, um, oh dear, I, I missed one now. I don't know what it is. Um, You're in Dublin. I, and we had, we had our beautiful, we were in Dublin for a few days and uh, last minute dot com I said to my daughter, can I take, can we take Grace? And she says, oh mum, you know what it'll be like. And I thought, yeah, but sure, she's good now. So we took her with us and she was absolutely fantastic. And it gave me a real chance to be with her for two full days. And know exactly what Alice is talking about when you have two children because we had one and we were able to do our buying she was very good I have to say all our agents were excellent and looked after and gave her drawing pens and paper and did honestly they went all out um, we had a few blips uh, going to the hotel we sort of took a wee wrong turn and we did have a wee argument but it went past very easily and we got to the most beautiful hotel the Rose Fitzgerald and they couldn't have been nicer to us they really were we had a beautiful meal and we had a few beverages as well of course we deserved it we worked hard and uh, and coming back a few blips coming back as well but Dublin is quite difficult I would have known the road but Alice was as afraid of me driving and I know she is and most of my age I don't blame her but anyway that was that now our summer sale, uh, during the season we sourced a lot of nice high summer quality stock, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely flew. Um, with the weeks in August we thought the weather was deteriorating so we gave it 25% and we added those to it. So uh, I think nearly everything except our new winter stock is now on 25% apart from our Rebel and the trousers. So that's what... Um, that's what we're at now and now Susan Jackson uh, did a competition I hope you're all able to join in for it and she gave away a pair of trousers so I hope you all had a chance to win um, oh dear oh uh, I don't know what oh yes we have a beautiful new girl in her office apartment upstairs uh, Aoife I don't even know what her second name but she's a lovely girl and you know no matter what you ask her to do it's not a bother to her and she's thin and she's tall and she's whippet and she can run like I don't know what and she can go from her stitching shop to upstairs and she can even give us a hand on the shop floor here so it was very nice to have her over the summer unfortunately I think we're losing her now as she teaches in Dublin and she's going back to her her proper job so um uh, what? Well, she's still with us oh, on yes. Saturday. Oh, so. yes. She'll what? She'll be still with us on Saturday. She'll be well, she's with She's training. She's training. She'll need training. Oh, she's just training. I thought she was an active teacher. I wondered because I thought she was too young for that. Um, and this is something I'm not going to elaborate because we'll probably do a video later on it. Uh, we had a bit of drama in Enniskillen today. And on, I had just left it. And uh, I got a call to say the roof had collapsed. So I thought the building had just fallen to the street, but um, turned my car and went back up. And uh, yes, it was dramatic because it happened at the front of the shop. And as I came in, there was lots of tiles on the floor and there was uh, rails down and there was clothes were thrown in all directions. And um, we just discovered that two young lads up the stairs who apparently do night work or something, 
Um, we're playing chess and they put the bath on, forgot to turn it off. But uh, somebody's in for a lot of hard work. Uh, but we've got it cleared up. Uh, it's drying out and we'll hopefully we'll be back on track soon. So I don't think I have any more dramatic news for you at the moment. Um, so I leave you with that until our next newsletter. And my goodness, we'll begin to the long evenings. I don't, I don't think I'll even want to do it. But anyway, hopefully I'll be fit to do something. Chat to you later.